From the dawn of humanity, we have gazed at the stars and wondered about our place in the cosmos. Today, we delve into a new hypothesis in cosmogenesis, centered around the concept of dark charge. This hypothesis offers a compelling explanation for dark matter and energy. Our guide is a visionary scientist pushing the boundaries of physics and cosmology. The universe is a tapestry woven from a complex interplay of forces and particles. Despite our progress, many mysteries remain, particularly with dark matter and energy. The concept of dark charge offers a potential bridge between the known and unknown. Join us as we explore this new hypothesis and its implications. Imagine a universe coexisting with our own, invisible yet subtly influencing our reality. The dark charge hypothesis proposes a mirror electromagnetic force. This force governs particles in a hidden realm, separated by chirality. This duality could unlock some of the most perplexing mysteries of our universe. Dark matter and energy remain elusive yet their gravitational effects are undeniable. The dark charge hypothesis suggests they reside in a parallel sector. This separation explains why we cannot directly observe them. Gravity acts as the crucial link between these two sectors. The separation of ordinary and dark matter lies in the nature of their forces. Chirality, a fundamental property, sets them apart. This difference prevents direct interaction, rendering dark matter and energy invisible. Our instruments rely on electromagnetic interactions, which dark matter evades. A parallel force realm offers an elegant explanation for dark matter and energy. The same fundamental principles govern both realms, separated by chirality. Gravity acts as a bridge, influencing the large-scale structure of the universe. This hypothesis challenges us to rethink the universe's fundamental building blocks. Chirality plays a pivotal role in the dark charge hypothesis. Ordinary and mirror electromagnetic forces exhibit opposite chiralities. This difference creates an impenetrable barrier between them. They exist in parallel realms, governed by mirror image forces. Chirality-induced separation shapes the structure of our universe. Dark matter remains invisible to our telescopes, interacting only gravitationally. This cosmic segregation has persisted since the universe's earliest moments. Dark matter's gravitational influence reveals its presence in the cosmos. Gravity acts as a universal bridge, connecting ordinary and dark matter. It affects all forms of matter and energy, holding the universe together. Dark matter's gravitational pull shapes galaxies and the cosmic web. Observing these effects helps us infer dark matter's properties. The dark charge hypothesis suggests an early symmetric state of the universe. At high energies, ordinary and dark matter may have interacted more significantly. As the universe cooled, their distinct chiralities led to separation. Subtle patterns in cosmic microwave background radiation could provide clues. Gravity, the universal choreographer, shapes the large-scale structure of the universe. It influences interactions between ordinary and dark matter. Gravity binds them in a delicate cosmic embrace. In the early universe, matter was more homogeneous. As the universe expanded, gravity pulled matter into clumps. These clumps seeded galaxy formation. Imagine flour on a stretched fabric, pressing down forms clusters. Similarly, gravity shaped the universe's structure. This process highlights the interconnectedness of matter. Gravity has shaped a tapestry of galaxies and voids. The quest to understand the universe's fundamental building blocks 
often leads to complex theories with many particles and forces. The dark charge hypothesis finds elegance in simplicity, explaining phenomena through fundamental principles. While the standard model introduces many particles, the dark charge hypothesis takes a minimalist approach. It challenges the idea that complex phenomena require complex explanations. For instance, the strong force might be an emergent property of electromagnetic interactions. The dark charge hypothesis suggests simplicity and interconnectedness in nature's design. Central to the dark charge hypothesis is the concept of dipoles, a fundamental arrangement of positive and negative charges within particles. This dipole nature could hold the key to understanding the strong force and the stability of atomic nuclei. Imagine two tiny magnets, one with a north pole and the other with a south pole. When brought close together, they attract each other, their opposite poles locking them in a stable configuration. Similarly, the dark charge hypothesis proposes that protons and neutrons possess internal dipole structures. These dipoles interact through electromagnetic forces, providing the binding energy that holds the nucleus together. This dipole-dipole interaction becomes dominant at the femtometer scale of atomic nuclei. This balance explains the remarkable stability of atomic nuclei despite repulsive forces. The dark charge hypothesis challenges the traditional view of weak interactions as mediated by a separate fundamental force. Instead, it proposes that weak decays might be better understood as processes involving the disruption of equilibrium states within particles. Imagine a spinning top, perfectly balanced and spinning smoothly. Any disturbance to its equilibrium can cause it to wobble and eventually fall. Similarly, particles in stable states might possess a certain equilibrium configuration of their internal charges and energies. Weak interactions would represent processes that disrupt this equilibrium, leading to transformations and decays. This perspective on weak interactions offers a fresh perspective on particle decays, shifting the focus from a distinct force to the inherent stability and instability of particle states. The universe, in its vastness and complexity, often guards its secrets jealously. As we peer back through billions of years, attempting to reconstruct the events that unfolded during the universe's infancy, we encounter a fundamental limitation, the concept of memory loss in complex systems. Imagine a bustling city street teeming with life and activity. Each passerby carries a unique history, a story etched in their movements and interactions. However, as time passes and the crowd disperses, tracing the precise path of any individual becomes an impossible task. The sheer number of interactions, the constant motion, and the passage of time blur the details, leaving behind only a faint echo of the past. Similarly, the early universe, a seething cauldron of particles and forces, has undergone countless interactions and transformations since its inception. While we can observe the remnants of this primordial soup in the cosmic microwave background radiation and the distribution of galaxies, the precise details of its initial conditions and early evolution remain shrouded in a fog of cosmic time. This memory loss is not a failure of observation or a lack of scientific understanding. It is an inherent property of complex systems where the sheer number of interactions and the passage of time inevitably obscure the past making it impossible to reconstruct every detail with perfect accuracy. In the heart of the early universe, a cosmic ballet of creation and annihilation played a pivotal role in shaping the universe as we know it. This dance involved matter and antimatter, twins in every way except for their opposite charges. When matter and antimatter particles collide, they annihilate each other in a burst of energy. Conversely, energy can, under the right conditions, transform into matter-antimatter pairs. This delicate balance between creation and annihilation, governed by the laws of physics, played a crucial role in the early universe. In the extreme heat and density of the first moments after the Big Bang, matter and antimatter particles were constantly being created and destroyed, 
their interactions shaping the energy landscape of the nascent cosmos. However, this cosmic dance was not perfectly balanced. A slight asymmetry, a subtle preference for matter over antimatter, tipped the scales in favour of matter, ultimately leading to a universe dominated by matter, the building blocks of stars, planets and life itself. This matter-antimatter asymmetry remains one of the most profound mysteries in physics. Understanding its origins could hold the key to unravelling the fundamental processes that governed the early universe and shaped its evolution into the cosmos we observe today. Just as the early universe exhibited an asymmetry between matter and antimatter, the dark charge hypothesis proposes a similar asymmetry in dark matter. This subtle imbalance could explain the abundance of dark matter today. Imagine two mirrors reflecting slightly distorted images of each other. Similarly, dark matter processes might exhibit crucial asymmetries. These asymmetries could have shaped the dark sector in the early universe. The dark charge hypothesis offers a plausible explanation for dark matter's abundance. In the quantum realm, where particles behave like waves and uncertainty reigns, physicists use the S-matrix to predict particle collisions. This framework helps predict outcomes even when interactions are uncertain. Imagine billiard balls colliding. The S-matrix does this for quantum particles. It calculates probabilities of different outcomes in particle collisions. This makes the S-matrix essential for studying collisions in accelerators. Section 2. The Challenge of Fleeting Existence The S-matrix describes particle interactions, but struggles with the early universe's fleeting high-energy particles. In the nascent cosmos, particles constantly collided and transformed, creating transient states. These fleeting states shape the universe's evolution, but are hard to describe mathematically. Traditional quantum field theory relies on stable particles, making it difficult to capture these transient states. Imagine photographing a hummingbird in flight. Its rapid wing beats make it hard to capture a sharp image. Similarly, transient states in the early universe challenge our mathematical descriptions. The S-matrix focuses on initial and final states, bypassing intermediate details. Treating transient states as black boxes, the S-matrix provides valuable outcome probabilities. However, the S-matrix has limitations. Maintaining consistent momentum relationships becomes complex with many transient states. Section 3. Seeking new mathematical landscapes. The challenge of representing transient states mathematically highlights the need for innovative frameworks that can bridge the gap between the established tools of quantum field theory and the unique conditions of the early universe. These frameworks must be able to handle the chaotic, non-equilibrium nature of the primordial particle soup while respecting the fundamental symmetries and conservation laws governing particle interactions. One promising avenue of exploration lies in the development of non-equilibrium quantum field theory, a branch of physics still in its infancy. This approach seeks to extend the principles of quantum field theory traditionally applied to systems in equilibrium to the dynamic and often chaotic conditions found in the early universe. Another approach involves exploring alternative mathematical formalisms, such as those based on string theory or loop quantum gravity, which attempt to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity, Einstein's theory of gravity. These theories, while still speculative, offer a fresh perspective on the nature of space, time and matter, potentially providing new insights into the universe's earliest moments. The search for new mathematical landscapes to describe the early universe is a journey into uncharted territory, requiring both creativity and rigour. It is a testament to the boundless curiosity of physicists, driven by the desire to understand the universe's origins and the fundamental laws governing its evolution. Section 1. A Universe Reimagined as we draw this exploration of dark charge and its implications for cosmogenesis to a close, we find ourselves standing at the precipice of a profound shift in our understanding of the universe. The concepts we've discussed, while rooted in the language of physics and mathematics, reach far beyond the confines of equations and theories. 
They challenge us to reimagine the very fabric of reality, to envision a cosmos more intricate and interconnected than we ever thought possible. The dark charge hypothesis, with its elegant yet radical propositions, invites us to see the universe through new eyes. It suggests that our familiar world of matter and energy might be just one side of a larger cosmic coin, coexisting with a hidden realm of dark charge, governed by its own set of forces, a mirror image of our own. This duality, far from being a mere theoretical curiosity, has profound implications for our understanding of the universe's origins, evolution and ultimate fate. It provides a framework for explaining the observed properties of dark matter and energy, two of the most perplexing mysteries in modern cosmology. It challenges us to rethink our understanding of the fundamental forces, suggesting that even the most established theories might hold hidden depths waiting to be explored. Section 2, charting the course ahead. The journey does not end here. The dark charge hypothesis is still in its infancy. It must withstand scrutiny and further development. Refining the mathematical framework is crucial. Models should explain dark matter and energy. Identifying observational signatures is key. This involves searching for anomalies and designing experiments. The road ahead is filled with challenges and triumphs. Curiosity will guide us on this journey of discovery.